We are getting to the truth in the Diocese of Buffalo is because of courageous victim survivors. It's the survivors movement. It is gaining momentum tonight. Those survivors now crediting our I-Team investigators for helping them reclaim their voices and power. Now, as evidence of a Catholic cover-up mounts, call for new church leadership is growing. I-Team Chief Investigator Charlie Specht was first to expose this story. He has this new chapter tonight. Charlie? Well, victims of sexual abuse are now calling on the resignations of two bishops, Richard Malone and Auxiliary Bishop Edward Gross, in the wake of an I-Team investigation into the cover-up of sexual abuse in the Diocese of Buffalo. They say the diocese simply cannot be trusted anymore, and it's now time for law enforcement to get involved and open an investigation, a grand jury investigation, into the actions of the hierarchy. They point to the state of Pennsylvania as one place where a similar investigation is already underway and has yielded big results. These two men must leave Buffalo immediately so that the children of Buffalo and this diocese can remain safe because we know that under the leadership of these two men, children are not safe in this diocese. Any law enforcement official who is willing now to take this bull by the horns, yes. But I, I think the attorney general needs to do a statewide investigation. Now, in response to this, Bishop Malone putting out a statement that did not address those calls for his job, other than to say that he leads the diocese now, of course, and he will quote, he says, I will continue to do so. Now, it's unclear at this point whether an investigation will be launched and by whom, as the state attorney general does not believe that she has jurisdiction in this case, which could eventually leave things in the hands of the Erie County DA. We'll keep you updated on exactly where this goes from here. For the I-Team, Charlie Speck, 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you.